गुड मॉर्निंग नमस्ते प्रियोजा नमस्ते सर जी वेलकम टू द मॉर्निंग सेशन जी नमस्ते तारा प्रसन्ना जी सभी को नमस्ते सो टुडे वी हैव शेयरिंग ऑफ सूर्य कांत जी सो लेट मी इंट्रोड्यूस सूर्य कांत जी इन ब्रीफ देन वी कैन स्टार्ट विथ हिज इंट्रोडक्शन सो सूर्य कांत जी इज वर्किंग एट विमाना खंडर इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ टेक्नोलॉजी वालकी विच इज एफिलेटेड टू डी टी यू बेलगवी कर्नाटका जॉइंट यू एच पी सिंस ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी वन ऑगस्ट कंप्लीटेड इंट्रोडक्टरी एफ डी पी रिफ्रेशर वन एंड फेस टू फेस एफ डी पी एट आर सी बी बैंगलोर ड्यूरिंग मे ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी टू ही in uh, different activities of usb like registration help desk and ppi calling with this uh, brief introduction i may invite uh, surya kandriya surya kandriya namaste namaste tara prasanna bhaiya namaste sharmila didi namaste kumar bhaiya namaste sunil bhaiya namaste ganesh ji and namaste to all my dear co explorers as tar prasanna bhai has briefly introduced uh, let me introduce myself little more my name is surekant born and brought up from a very small village named pandragera which comes under the taluka of basavakalyan karnataka state which is the karma bhumi of uh, 12th century social reformer lord basaveshwara and my father name is chandrappa and mother name is iramma I am serving as professor in electronics and communication engineering department of Bhimana Khandre Institute of Technology, Bhalki, a private institution affiliated to BTU Belagavi, as Tara Bhaiya has uh, informed. Apart from my academic activities, I am also serving as NSS program officer at our institution, and as well as a EBSV cell coordinator. I am working in this institution since from 1995. Before joining to BKIT, I also served as lecturer and even HOD of EC department and as well principal of a polytechnic, private polytechnic uh, at Chitapur of Kalburgi district during 1990 to 1995. So now about my family, I am staying with my wife Nirmala at Bidar. Karnataka. I have two sons. Elder son Mahesh completed his MTech in Industrial Automation and Robotics, and presently working as project manager at Vipro Pari in Automation Industry at Pune. Younger son Avinash completed his BE in Civil Engineering and working in a software company at Bangalore. About my UHV journey, I have connected to UHV since from 26 July 2021. Uh, by attending online FDP, inculcating universal human values in technical education, with my own curiosity and interest, I was really very much impressed and attracted with the contents of this online FDP. Immediately, I have enrolled for online refresher one FDP conducted during 30th August 2021 to 3rd September 2021, and also successfully completed. my morning session journey started from 16th may 2022 also i got the opportunity to attend the face to face ehv2 fdp at rvc bengaluru during 5th to 9th september 2022 i was uh, very much impressed with uh, the ehv face to face fdp it is a very memorable experience to me Uh, to hear from the resource person sri umesh bhaiya and discussion with co explorers and uh, with anita didi and sri mahesh kolte bhaiya about sharing my understanding especially self i am able to see that innate nature of human being is to be happy and harmony within and outside in continuity after joining ehv i am able to see that harmony within is possible only by observing within myself and not by looking some favorable conditions outside 
specifically it made me to focus much on self but still i observe sometime reactions while interacting with others because of previous assumptions and preconditionings from my end rather than response but i could notice within myself that they have reduced to a very greater extent truly speaking it influenced very much on my behavior to focus much on self rather than on bodily requirements or in the happenings outside i am able to see that human being is not alone the body it is coexistence of self and body and body is just used as an instrument by the self self is central to the human existence and body is an instrument of self self is one which is the seer doer and enjoyer i am able to look myself that there is something which i understood as the pure self or pure consciousness existing in all human beings is same and only thing if at all anything lacking or changing is in competence i am able to say that my happiness and unhappiness depends on my own state of imagination during my day to day interactions with my colleagues friends or my near and dear ones i am able to observe that there are feelings of relationship and as well as opposition due to past assumptions and preconditions still i have to work lot within myself to have the same feelings uh, the feeling of relationship with everyone about nature and existence a uh, human being is an integral part of the nature i could see it very clearly and also i could see that there is independence and mutual fulfillment among the three orders of the nature namely physical order bio order and animal order i am able to look that only in case of human being there is lack in mutual fulfillment with the three orders and even among the human order also i feel that right understanding and natural acceptance when it understood by the human being it is possible to have mutual fulfillment uh, among other orders also as far as my understanding goes towards the human conduct human conduct looks to be very random and unpredictable whereas the units in all the three orders have definite and predictable conduct i feel that only right understanding in the self will help to have a definite conduct which will bring harmony within and outside about change in my living relationship among the brothers and family members is improved relationship among colleagues is also improved still some difference of opinions are there i am able to look uh, in every you know interaction with anybody Uh, the content of ehv comes to the mind yes the everybody is having the same potential and uh, only lacking part is the competence and the having the angry with others or having the difference of opinion will uh, is reducing a lot what i can say about the change in my living but still i think the long way has to go that's one day i asked to my wife that's uh, do you look any change but she answered no nothing change the you are as it is so what i feel is the long way i have to go uh, to change myself in the uh, to live within harmony within the society within the family and within myself so about my understanding with respect to exercise 1 and 2 in exercise 1 i still have to work more on steps 1 to 3 step 4 is very clear that i decide the feeling at any moment but also i could see that sometime outside situations influence on taking the decisions steps 5 6 and 7 are very clear to me as an information but still long way to bring them in practice about understanding with respect to exercise 2 observing the body by the self and the interaction between the self and the body in space in exercise 2 steps 1 to 6 are very much clear to me i could see clearly that body and self are the two distinct realities 
interaction between the self and body is through sensation decisions are taken by the self i am not the sensation i am not in the sensation i am at a distance from the sensation i could see that i associate meaning to the sensations based on my samskar i feel that exercise 2 step 7 is understood just as an information i have the confusion about the god and the space are these two the same realities we are talking in different names uh, and when i uh, look some of the videos of uh, sadguru and uh, oso specifically oso so there in one video it has been mentioned that there is no god at all so there comes a lot of confusion about the god and the space and the existence so still i have to have much clarity about uh, these uh, space and god and living beings now about my commitment about my commitment i am attending regularly morning meetings for developing right understanding and right feeling within myself i am volunteering in help desk and uh, in registration and also in ppa calling i am attending weekly and monthly meetings uh, most of the time also as panel member i am joining in the fdbs and uh, student development programs as and when time permits me for my self understanding and knowledge i have also joined prp group also given my first demo presentation at vichu canada rp group on 16th of this month i am ready to serve for any sort of vichu volunteering work during my possible uh, free time about social responsibility as a nss officer i used to organize every year a blood donation camps free i check i check up camps and dental check up camps as well tree plantation programs law awareness programs etc at the institution and also at the adopted villages during nss special camping for the benefit of the society and particularly for my self happiness and one example i want to quote it related to blood donation camp on 29th october 2022 our nss unit under the leadership and guidance of our honorable secretary conducted a blood donation camp in which more than 450 units of blood has been collected and submitted to the government hospital be there this is the highest units of blood collected in the bidar district uh, any blood donation camp held so far in the history about uh, the timings the how much time i can spend it for self improvement uh, during my working hour whenever i get the time uh, i feel approximately more than 4 hours per day i am spending in developing my understanding in the self uh, by hearing youtube videos of vhv also sandeep maheshwari siddheshwar swami ji of bijapur ramana marshi videos narrated by dr gurraj karjigi and even the videos of swami sarva priyanand ji at the end i want to express my deep gratitude to ganesh ji sharmila didi kumar bhaiya tara bhaiya umesh bhaiya parikshit bhaiya sunil bhaiya anup bhaiya chitri bhaiya manu didi and all my co explorers and volunteers thank you and namaste to all for giving me an opportunity to express my which we understanding a lot of things looks to be uh, still to be improved and uh, with this i express my heartfelt thanks to everyone thank you very much to one and all namaste namaste tara bhaiya so we will directly go to uh, sarmila didi for her comments and suggestion ji yes, sarmila didi namaste please give your suggestion namaste surya khan ji and namaste sarmila didi nice to hear your sharing um it was uh, i believe you said you started with uhv in 2021 yes, and you uh, at present you know uh, the uhv coordination in your 
institute you are taking care of that is that what did i understand correctly yes yes this is still uh, we have to work over it this is that see which we sell is open and activities okay. uh, we have to so start this is still very nice very nice so in a short span of time i think all the various uh, inputs that you are getting from different places even before uhv have uh, helped to you know develop your sanskars and probably that is one reason why you have this commitment to um all of this work in human values uh, i liked how you went through the steps very honestly and were able to mention you know what where you need to work on what further you need to work on and so far as your um you know at home um with the spouse and all that you are not able to or she is not able to see changes i think uh, you know i don't believe that you should be disheartened with that because in the beginning a lot of times we are able to see the changes within ourselves but when we work with others outside even one indefiniteness in behavior um the others tend to focus on that so then uh, they are not able to see the changes but it will happen i am pretty sure that you are uh, moving in the right direction and uh, very soon you know you will be able to see that um influence outside also um as far as you know having if we are in harmony ourselves it is but natural that it will flow in all our actions outside also so like you said that sometimes the reaction does happen and uh, that is um quite understandable because it is a long journey and it does take time so i would say just keep going at it and uh, all the very best to you best wishes and uh, your participation whatever possible you are able to do um that will be most welcome all the best surya kanchi thank you didi thank you very much